Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what is design handoff and what are the best tools available in the market for us right now. So without any further ado, let's get started. So firstly, what is design handoff? So, you know, as designers, we do a lot of research, we do ideation, then we come up with some wireframes. And then finally, we end up with some concrete designs, which are nothing but the UI design or the UI screens, right? But that's not the final step of a designer in the project sprint. We also got to communicate these designs to the developers. And that process is called as design handoff. And in this process, there's a lot of communication which happens between the developers and the designers. There could be some conflict and there could be some miscommunication. So to avoid all these communication gaps and solve this problem, there are a lot of tools in the market which are called as the design handoff tools, which basically eases this process for a designer so that they can easily communicate their designs to the developers. So now that we understood what is design handoff, let's quickly see what are the best tools available in the market and how you can use them. So the first three tools are the very easiest ones because they are directly inbuilt into the design tools that we use. So as we all know, the three most popular tools that we use for UI designing is Figma, Adobe XD and Sketch. So all these three tools have their inbuilt system for design handoff. So let's quickly have a look at that and then we can move on to some advanced tools and see what extra benefits they provide. So starting off with Figma. So as you can see, this is the Figma site and uh, they basically tell you that turn developer handoff into a handshake. You have unlimited viewers and easy export and all that stuff. So let's see how to hand off your designs using Figma. So here I'm on Figma and as you can see I just have a basic screen that I pulled out from Airtable's uh, design system. So let's say this is the design that you want to provide to your developer. So what you can do is once you're done designing it all you got to do is click on the share button right here and click on can view. Mention this as can view anyone with the link and just copy the link. Okay. New screen on my browser. So let's say this is your developer. They just need to be signed on Figma. So as you can see the same screen opens up for the developer also whoever opens it and what they can do is they can edit the designs right so all they can do is click on each of these elements and see the different properties so they can just click on this name right here and they can see that it's 14 from the top 14 from the left and the padding they can see the typography and everything they can inspect right here right they can copy the CSS properties check the color let's say the image right here if they want this image they can click on the image they can go to export and just export this as an image so there are different properties that they can see and they can also play this if it's a prototype and see how it functions so all that can be done on Figma and that's how easy it is for the Figma users to hand off their designs to the developers so so that being said, let's move on to the next one, which is Adobe XD. So if you're using Adobe XD, so here I have a sample file right here. So once you're on Adobe XD, your designing is done. Just click on the share tab right here. And in the viewing settings, you have this option, which says development. That is basically to share your designs with your developers. So just select that. I've already done it. And that's why it says update link, but you would actually get a publish or a publish link. So just do that. And then you'll get a link like this. So just copy that and paste it here. And this is what opens up so you'll have uh, multiple screens here and you just uh, the developer can just click on the screen and uh, they have this option which is inspect so just click on that and the developer can click on each of these elements and see what type of font it is the typography the font size and the padding from left top and all that stuff so that is how easy it is for the Adobe XD users as well and moving on to sketch right uh, sketch users didn't have this previously but now even sketch is providing this feature so if you are a licensed user of sketch you have the access to sketch cloud so once you're done designing on your sketch file you just have to upload it to the cloud and you end up on a screen like this you have a same kind of a link which comes in developers can just open up the link or the screen and they have all these options to inspect right so initially it will be on activity you can't click on anything it basically behaves as a prototype and then you can move on to the inspector tab right here where the developers can just click on each of these elements and look at the different properties the x axis the y axis the typeface the weight of the font the color being used and totally everything right so that is how easy it is for the sketch users as well if you're a licensed user but let's say you don't have the sketch license but you want to give it a try so there is this plugin for sketch which is called as sketch measure so this is a free open source tool and you can basically install this plugin and export your designs it would basically give you a html format or a html file which opens up like this and the developers can just open up that html file and they can just click on each screen and look at all the properties 
just like we saw. So all those properties will be shown uh, just like any other handoff tool. So those are the ways you can hand off your designs to your developers using these uh, popular design tools that is Figma, Adobe XD and Sketch. But apart from these, there are also some other design handoff tools in the market like Zeppelin and Envision. So now you would ask me, why do I need another tool when there are already these features available in the design tool itself? So these tools like Zeppelin and Envision came long before Figma and Adobe XD had these handoff features and therefore they have some advanced features and they are way ahead of these tools. To have a look at that, you can see here Zeppelin has a design system inbuilt into it. So when you hand off these designs, you can have a whole design system integrated where the developers can click on the button like this and you know, you can see here, right? They can just copy the JS code and use it in their projects and that makes the whole process very streamlined. So you can see the different components and all the style guides. So everything is uh, built into the tool itself. So that is Zeppelin. So if you want something more advanced and there are also features like, you know, in development, in QA and you can attach the screens to Jira tickets. So this has this whole uh, advanced features of linking up to different user stories. And then there's also Envision. So here, as you can see, you can connect to Jira, you can uh, add in your assets and the developer, the designer and everyone can collaborate and comment on Jira. You can close the Jira tickets. So that is uh, basically Envision spec. So I would say Envision is a bit more advanced than Zeppelin because they have different tools. So they have this uh, DSM, which is nothing but the design system manager. So if I see DSM, which can be built into the system. So there's a seamless integration with different tools, right? So if you're using React for your uh, development, React, Vue, Angular. So everything is inbuilt into this and you can basically use this to streamline the complete process. So what I would say is if you're just starting off, the inbuilt features in the design tools is more than enough. But if you're looking at a more advanced uh, stage where you want to streamline your project lifecycle process, uh, some advanced tool like Zeppelin and Envision would be much better. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful. Thanks for watching.